Hey, it's Bobby from brewhardware.com. And today we're gonna to be talking about putting a pump in your brew house. As you're brewing right now, you're probably draining liquids either by gravity or by uh, letting them drain into a bucket and then physically pouring that bucket into the next process. Now, I started brewing all grain that way. I had a single pot and I had a single mash tun. And whenever I needed to move liquid from one of those vessels to the other, I would drain it into a bucket, lift that bucket up and dump it into the next vessel. Now that worked fine for five gallon batches and I was totally comfortable doing that. But as I started growing into larger batch sizes, like 10, 12 gallons, I found that I was filling this bucket up to like the five gallon mark and I'm pouring this water into the mash tun. It's 175 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm splashing it all over the place and I'm getting myself wet and I found it to be a little bit too dangerous to keep doing it that way. So that's where I started looking into getting a pump for my own brewery and I was a lot happier moving liquid in a safe manner and I didn't have to lift up all that weight during the brew day either. Okay so that might be just enough of the impetus that you need to go ahead and get a pump as you move into larger batch sizes. Now aside from the safety aspect of pouring a large volume of hot liquid around, you might be doing other techniques that would benefit from a pump. For example, if you're using the all grain fly sparging technique and you have all of your vessels in a multi-tier system so that you can gravity drain uh, all of those liquids, you might find it a lot easier to lower some of those vessels down to a more manageable height so that you don't have to climb up on ladders and things like that. Now, in order to fly sparge in the all grain process, you have to move two different liquids simultaneously at about the same flow rate. So instead of using gravity, you might pull your hot liquor tank down one level and use a pump to pump that liquor into the mash tun. Now you could still use gravity for the, the second flow if you want to, or even lower all three vessels down to a single tier so that you can use two pumps to move those liquids. Now that is kind of a daunting thing to upgrade to right away, but as you can see, every time you add a pump to your system, you can reduce your gravity drains down one level and then end up with a nice manageable system eventually. Now as you step into even more advanced brewing systems like RIMS or HERM systems, those by very definition require you to recirculate your mash. So you have your mash ton full of uh, your grain and your hot liquor. And these systems will take some of the wort out of the bottom of the mash tun, send them through the pump, and then back up to the top of the mash. And you keep recirculating that. Now finally, the last thing I'll mention, which isn't necessarily a reason to go out and buy a pump, but certainly is a great feature once you already have one or decided to get one. Uh, and that's storing the chilling operation of your wort. Now, even if you have an immersion chiller, you've probably found out that if you keep the wort moving, like by stirring it with a spoon or by jostling the chiller around, you greatly increase your chilling efficiency. Now, another way of achieving that in an easier way is to recirculate your, bo your boiled wort using a pump. You drain it out of the bottom, you send it through the pump, and then you have the outlet kind of whirlpool that wort around the coils. Now that's a much more hands-off process than manually stirring and also it helps you to sort of get your trube cone in the center of the pot while you're chilling. Now if you don't want to use an immersion chiller, adding a pump to your brewery also allows you to add an external heat exchanger such as a plate chiller or a counterflow chiller which can be used with a gravity drain process but it is much more easy to do if you have a pump. For one thing you can pump hot wort through these chillers and back into the top of the kettle as a sanitizing step so you don't have to do that separately. So in summary, if you're asking why you need a pump for your brewery, you probably don't. You will eventually get to the point where you'll be moving liquids at such a volume that you don't feel safe doing it anymore, or you'll just try to get into a more complicated or advanced brew system that actually requires a pump. Now, certainly if you have any questions, please send me an email at bobby at brewhardware.com and I'll be sure to answer it right away. Thanks a lot.